How you doing, guys? Today we're going to look at the history of the duel, and these are a couple pictures just to highlight uh, examples of dueling. So, the start of the duel uh, began in the Middle Ages, practiced by nobles to defend their honor. Uh, your honor and who you represented your family meant a great deal to them. So, if anyone called that into question, uh, you had to defend that honor. So uh, this goes along with the chivalric code. So judicial combat was designed so that these two men could settle their disputes one-on-one uh, -on -one without having to involve uh, anybody else uh, of large group. God judged the winner and loser uh, if you survived or uh, you weren't injured as badly. Uh, you were the winner if you uh, got most of the injuries or you died, you were the loser. Uh, it was later outlawed by the heads of state and the church officials. One, because uh, it's a sin to kill another person. But also, the heads of state, you're losing your knights, who are your soldiers. So you don't want to have your soldiers killing each other off, because then there would be nobody to defend uh, your kingdom. So. Uh, that's mainly why it was, it was outlawed uh, by those heads of state. It then makes a return during the Enlightenment period, practiced by nobles and upper-class gentlemen. Uh, again, your honor, it was a, a way of finding that, uh, a way to defend your honor. Um, again, thinking about the Enlightenment, it was the thinking man's way of defending honor. Uh, might as well fight it out. Uh, again, thinking of uh, the Enlightenment, their form of execution was uh, the guillotine, so it was a quick, painless, easy way of doing it. Uh, so this was a thought to be the, the thinking man's way of, of settling a dispute. It was later codified in 1777 by a group of Irishmen uh, known as the Code Duello. Uh, leave it up to the Irish to codify the rules to killing. Uh, but uh, it was written down, and now you had the proper steps under the Code Duello of how to carry out a duel. The Code Duello, just going through it, uh, the code is then Americanized in 1838 uh, by Governor John Lyde Wilson of South Carolina. Uh, he creates what's called the Code of Honor. Uh, again, thinking about the South uh, and why it makes sense that uh, this was brought down there, they saw themselves as gentlemen, so this was a gentlemanly way of settling a dispute. Uh, the first actual recorded duel was between Edward Doddy and Edward Lester in Massachusetts in 1621. Basically, as soon as they stepped off the, the boat, uh, they began dueling. So dueling has its roots in America from, from its inception. Uh, the code has 26 specific rules to a duel. Uh, the main weapon of choice, especially in the later portions, uh, the late 1700s, uh, early 1800s, were uh, dueling pistols that are highlighted down below. Uh, and dueling is such a part of the American culture that uh, it's also shown in political cartoons like the one down at the bottom right uh, to discuss politics or how disputes were settled between men. So under the four duel, uh, the parties taking part, uh, you have the challenger and the challenged. Uh, these are the, the two parties that have the issues with one another. Uh, so the challenger would then challenge the challenged, uh, but that challenge would be sent through what are called seconds. Uh, seconds are the, the middlemen. Uh, the two parties, after the, the initial offense was given, uh, the two parties, instead of seeing face-to-face, uh, they appoint seconds, and seconds are guys that are of the same class as them. Uh, so they would be the representatives of those men. 
and they would then carry the messages. Uh, they would act as mediators. It was mainly a way to keep te uh, tempers from flaring and someone to do something uh, rash and maybe you know punch them in the face, which would be seen as brutish. Uh, it's much better to, to get together and shoot at one another than it is to, to punch each other in the face. So uh, these seconds were used so that the two parties didn't have to see each other and meet until it was decided that they would then finally meet on the dueling grounds. Um, the weapons uh, were chosen by the challenged uh, since they are the ones that are receiving this challenge they have the first option of what type of weapons would be used so it could be anything it could be swords it could be knives it could be guns uh, it has to be a weapon though it can't be fisticuffs uh, if the challenged pit is really good or a really good shot he would probably pick pistols uh, that's one of the things that you gotta be careful of if you're going to challenge a guy you really have to know his strengths uh, so he will pick pistols maybe you already know that so you can actually decline it if you're not that good with pistols yourself so there's this banter back and forth to make sure that there's level playing ground uh, there are ways to avoid a duel the person who commits the first offense could apologize uh, and that apology can be given at any point in time up to the combat uh, but once they're on the dueling grounds, they have to wait until after the first shot and then, or I'm sorry, after the first round of shots are fired and uh, every round after that. Uh, but an apology could be given and it has to be enough to suffice the honor of that person that was offended. Uh, you could also decline the duel, but if you were declined, uh, declining a duel, uh, you left yourself open up for public ridicule and that's what's called being posted. Now, in modern times, uh, being posted could be your face being plastered all over uh, smear ads on TV, social media, billboards like the Cookie Monster here. Uh, and it was a way of really just destroying your public image. Uh, your picture would be placed with uh, some nasty words uh, attacking your character. Uh, such as the Cookie Monster being immoral, untrustworthy, and lack of self-restraint. So you're really committing uh, social suicide and career suicide if you uh, don't follow the proper rules to a duel and you are posted. Uh, there are other ways of being posted as well. Uh, if uh, you cheat during the duel, if you, take head, if you uh, are aiming uh, headshots, uh, which were not allowed, uh, at the duel, uh, at the at your um, the person you're dueling with, so there are ways of being posted, uh, even if you get to the dueling grounds. Um, but you know you have to be real careful because this could be the end of your career. Now for tonight, uh, after watching this, please uh, take a moment and read Andrew Jackson and Dueling in the United States. Uh, as well as the code Duello that I supplied you on iTunes U attached to this post. Uh, and then answer the questions to the code and we'll discuss the, uh, the article and also the code tomorrow. Have a great day.